We interrupt our programming to bring you the following special report. The Ryan Report. Whatever opinion they had ain't gonna change nothing I'm doing. What was the story he told? Because I, I was there. It's time for the Ryan Report. It's like Jay-Z, all eyes on us. On the People Station, V103. It is your Ryan Report right here on the People Station, your Labor Day edition, as you see. Just cooling in the studio. It's being brought to you by. Brought to you by Kia. I mean, you probably need to hurry in during Kia's summer SUV clearance event. Mm. Visit KiaDealers.com to learn more information as we cool out. That's what I'm talking about. What's going on in the Ryan Report? Yes, right, sir. Let's, let's start off with uh, <laughs> more money, more money, more money. Uh, Tyler Perry giving a million dollars to hurricane relief. Nice. Uh, but he also said he talked to Joel Osteen and said, uh, contrary to popular belief, he believes that Joel Osteen would not try to keep people from being inside the Lakewood church. So he gives Joel Osteen $250,000. Mm. What you think about that? That's interesting. And you know, it's 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 kind of it makes sense to me too because you never really know the whole story mm-hmm. until you dig into both sides. Yeah. And the media, you know, sometimes might portray one side of it, and now we all like, oh, Joel, you know what I'm saying? So you will never know. And I know that the type of person Tyler is, if he's gonna give that kind of money, he's gonna find out and make sure everything is on up and up first. Guess who else he's giving money to? Who? Oh. Uh, Beyonce's church. Oh. You know, the pastor uh, who said they were gonna be trying to help the people who were victims in Houston, giving him two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So that's a, 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 a million dollars. Okay. Then two hundred fifty for Joel Osteen. Mm-hmm. Then two hundred fifty dollars, two hundred fifty thousand dollars to uh, Beyonce's pastor's church. I'm and glad. He has another five hundred thousand dollars. Who he's going to try to decide where he's going to get? It. Right. He, but he's doing what a lot of people are saying because there are a lot of people who are not exactly on board with the whole Red Cross thing. Right. And they're saying they want to make sure that uh, the money goes where it's supposed to go because, you know, you were saying something about they were asking the director of the Red Cross about the money and he right. couldn't come up with the answer. Exactly. What was going on with that? He said something about the fact that they did not know where the money went. Like, so he was asked the question like, hey, does the money go to where it's supposed to go? And he said, I don't know exactly where it goes. And that, that, that answer right there, you know, it says, it says how much of every dollar, you know, goes to relief. Yeah, I don't think I know the answer to that any better than the chief fundraiser knows how many, mm. how much it costs to put volunteer. Well, there's a lot of celebrities that, I mean, T.I. was the first one to say, I'll give, but I'm not giving to the Red Cross or FEMA. Right. So something has happened. Something's going on. And we've got, we got a call a couple of days ago from a listener stating the same thing. Right. She said, I used to work there and something happened. So we don't know. Well, here's the thing about that. And then we'll move on because we don't, until they come out and tell us what's going on. A lot right. of places that have nonprofits, they use a lot of this money to pay for salaries. Right. And a lot of times when people are, you know, collecting money, oh, this is for breast cancer research. And, or round your money up. And you will find out, you know, you can go to a a, um, a, a site and figure out how much money is going to what and what the mm-hmm. charitable organization is known for doing. Right. So if they're only giving 5% mm-hmm. to the actual program and the rest of it's going to other stuff, mm-hmm. then people don't give there. So we just tell people to do your research and decide where... The reason I started the Ryan Kevin Foundation was because I found out that people I was guaranteeing money to... It wasn't going there. Right. That's the whole reason behind it because of some type of scandal like this. Well, Mr. Kaiserman, he commented about that, too. And again, Mr. Kaiserman is the administrative uh, vice president. And he said that it's not something he would have any visibility on. He could talk about what it costs to deliver, deliver certain relief services, but that's it. Mm. All right. Well, there you have it's it. It's your money. Exactly. We got a good place for you to put your money because we're going to tell you in a minute. That's right. Hold your money in Hold Atlanta. Hold your money we got for you. one second. We got you. All yeah. right. But now. They say this is a big, rich town. I just come from the poet's part. Bright light, city life. I got to make it. This is where it goes down. I just happen to come up hard. Legal or illegal, baby, I gotta make it. This is 50 Cent on Good Morning America said he knew y'all wanted power to come on this past Sunday, but it was just too much competition, so he pulled the plug. That's why we gotta wait until this Sunday. Yeah, that's so angry with me because it didn't come on Sunday, but I'm smart enough not to let it come on. Okay. It was up against Game of Thrones finale. Um, that wasn't even what I was afraid of. Oh, well. I was afraid of the live sporting event. Floyd versus McGregor, and yeah. they had Kodo fighting at the same time, and the VMAs. Yeah, yep. and I'll do huge numbers. Rob Hardy, 
directed the season finale of Power. We caught up with him this morning. He's been directed for three years. This is a spoiler alert. A spoiler alert for all Power TV fans. We asked Rob about the season finale. Is there going to be any shock, any awe, any surprises? Here's what he said. First of all, you're not going to be disappointed with what you see. Secondly, you know that whatever's happening, everybody's in their feelings about the fact that somebody came after Raina, however that happens. And all I'm going to say, too, is because you know it's power, everybody don't make it. We can't wait to see it. We'll all be glued to the tube. But will we wake up on Monday mad? Nah, you're going to wake up on Monday feeling real good. Okay. But you're going to be surprised. But you're going to be surprised. Okay, mm. there you have it. And look for another cameo <laughs> appearance by Reverend Markel Hutchins, oh. who plays the lawyer Silver. Oh, you know it's supposed to be oh, a, a two guest appearance just, on there too. Just like him though, yeah. Kasim Reed, Kasim Reed, and, and Cesar Mitchell. You already know they're supposed to make an appearance on the show too. <laughs> they gonna be fighting. Yes. Pretty interesting. I didn't know that, huh? Why you want to do that? Why you didn't know that? Why you want to do 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 that?